Hi, I'm David Preston from David TV's Cook Like a Bastard. Today in a special edition of Cloud by Request, we're going to be making pretzel rolls. These were requested from um, Heidi in New Mexico, and she said, hey, I want to see you make some pretzel rolls. And we're going to make some pretzel buns, actually. You know, the little secret, they used to be my nickname way back when. request. Anyhow, to start with your pretzel rolls, I'm going to start with um, a half cup of water. I'm going to put a cup of milk in here. Got about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and a couple tablespoons of honey. And we're just going to put this on the stove on kind of a low heat. We're going to be heating it up to about 110, 115 degrees. Put it in the mixer and then we're going to put the yeast in and hope that whole yeast thing works. It scares us, doesn't it? We'll be back in a second. So we heated the milk and water combination to about 118 degrees and we're going to pour it into our mixing bowl over here. And then pour in our yeast, spread our yeast out evenly here. Let's give it kind of a quick stir with the other side of my handle. So we're going to let this sit in here for a few moments until it starts to bloom and then we're going to move on, put in some flour and continue with our clab by request here on Cook Like a Bastard. While we're letting our yeast proof as it is, we are going to melt a little butter, two tablespoons. And um, then we're going to grate some garlic in here. I love this little grater I have here. It's got it in Italy and it's a little corrugated little sheet here. You just take your clove of garlic. I'm going to take three cloves of garlic here and just spin it around. And you got enough of that one, you just go to the next one. And you get down a really nice, a very fine grate of garlic. You really open up the delicious aroma, as they say somewhere. Maybe an aroma, they say that. So you've, you've got these cloves of garlic, then they come with a little brush here that allow you just to brush your little grated garlic right into the bowl. You know, we love to bring the little gadgets to you, and this is a pretty gadget. Again, fresh from Italy. Nothing but the best stuff for the Cook Like a Bastard audience, and especially those like Heidi from New Mexico, who um, said, hey, I want to make something by request here on Cook Like a Bastard. As I said, you want to become part of the game, just go to the website. You can request something too, and maybe if you're the lucky winner, we're going to cook your show. So, we're going to let this sit, and we're going to go over to the mixer as soon as the yeast is done, proofing. We've let our yeast proof for about seven minutes in our milk and sugar and honey and water combination. I have four cups of flour, one cup of bread flour, and three cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to pour this in. And try not to drive the audio guy crazy, because I always drive the audio guy crazy. So I got that in here. And then I'm going to put, put my butter and garlic mixture in here. That this thing, and just a little safety tip here for all you folks at home. Make sure your pan, your mixer is well stuck in there, because if it's not, stuff is going to go flying all over. You think we don't rehearse? Well, occasionally we do, and well. We learn from experience. So we're going to do this for about seven minutes. Um, it's going to put on a, about a medium here, and um, you're going to want it, it's going to become elasticy, and it's going to start to pull off the side when you're done. About seven minutes, though. So we've let this mix for about six, seven minutes, and it is in a nice um, bowl, um, elastic -y ball that's pulling away from the sides as, as projected. And we're going to get this out of here somehow. So I'm going to take this, put in a ball here, maybe take a little bit of flour here, and just put it on the outside. Then I'm going to cut this into little pieces. This is a nice feeling. Oh, love playing with dough, huh? These are pretzel rolls we're making. We're making pretzel hot dog buns actually today. And this is a clab by request for Heidi in New Mexico. I'm going to remember that one this time, Heidi. Believe me, I really, really will. So I'm going to cut this into quarters. And then take my quarters and cut them into halves, which are then make it 
eighths, I guess. As the case may be, because we're making eight bonds. So that's kind of the, the thing you're going to figure out. Each one of these globules of dough will turn into one bun unit. Pretzel buns. <laughs> Sorry. Just going back. Uh, all right, so we're going to take these guys and we're going to roll these out into little ball, balls here. Then we're going to let them sit for about 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes once they're done. And then we're going to roll them into a different shape from that. We just keep playing and playing and playing. And that's worth it when we're doing a collab by request here. Remember, if you want to request a show, you can just go to cooklikeabaster.com, go to the comment section and say, hey, why don't you make blah, blah, blah? And we make an ass kicking blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you, especially for you. So I'm going to take my little, little balls I made here, try to keep them about the same size. Just put them on a, I have them on a silicone pad here. You can put them on, um, some paper if you want, but I'm going to put them on there uh, for a while to let the rising process happen. Got a clean towel here, cover them up, and there you go. They're like magic, they're going to puff up, and we're going to see it right there on Cook. Like a bastard. So we let our dough rise for 7, 12 minutes or something like that, and the little balls got a little bit bigger, and we're going to make them into logs. So you just roll them out. Remember, we're making pretzel hot dog rolls by request. Well, I added the hot dog portion because I knew what I was going to have for dinner. I wanted some broth. So I said, well, this will work. I don't have buns anyhow. So make sure you got these all rolled out nicely. Maybe if, you, if, you know, if it splits up, you might want to just roll it again. You want some nice shaped buns. Nothing like buns to make your buns look better, I think. That's so confusing. Like doing math on TV. <sighs> I just want to go, oh, oh. Oh, this is like meditation with pretzel buns. So after these things sit for another probably 30 minutes or so, we're going to boil them in some water. And the water is going to have baking soda in it. And it is going to be exciting. I guarantee it's going to be exciting here and cook like a bastard by request. That's when you put the echo sound effects in. Let's try it again. By request. Anyhow, we'll be right back. All right, now we have let our buns rise for about a half hour or so, and you can see they're of various size. Some might fit a hot dog, some might not. Who knows? We're experimenting. But here comes the funnest part of the entire project. And you didn't even know you were going to be able to boil your buns, but you are. And now while we're doing the boiling process, you're going to take a about 8-10 cups of water here and a half cup of baking soda. Now here's a little science happening for you kids. So be careful when you dump this in because you put it in a little bit too quickly, trust me, you got a mess. We do all of the mistakes here so you won't have to at all. And that's just on the benefits being cooked like a bastard. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take these rolls, I'm going to take probably two of them and put them in for 30 seconds. One, two, three. Then after about 30 seconds, you have to flip it over. And do the other side. I've never buy boiled dough before. This is exciting. This is the first. And this is what you get here on Cook Like a Bastard by request. You ask for it. We make it. We learn stuff. You learn from our mistakes. And that's the way that it goes. We just quickly threw these things together. Um, and just a little tip, when it's 95 degrees outside, you know, boiling bread, not the smartest thing to do, but who's the smartest people, huh? The people that are watching Cook Like a Bastard, those are the smartest people because they know where to find quality cooking, quality entertainment. It's right here at Cook Like a Bastard. Find out more, you go to cooklikeabastard.com. So I'm going to take these out, drain it, and I have a, a baking sheet here with um, parchment paper. Just put it out on here, flip it over so it's kind of on the bottom if I can. And then we put a couple more in. While, I'm, while those cats are cooking, these guys are hot, but I'm going to put these on. And then you take your little knife here. If you have a little green knife, that'll work best, but if your knife is blue, red, purple, or even knife color, that'll work too. So I'm going to do three slits in here.
Careful, this is hot. And then, and then, and then I'm going to take out the pink salt. Now you take your pink salt grinder and you twist this son of a gun as far as you can because you want some coarse pink salt. And you just put this over the top here. Nice coarse pink salt here. Because pink salt is the official salt of Cook Like a Bastard. So after a little bit of time, we're going to flip a couple more of these over. Put them on the other side. This is really simple. And this is a fun little project for all of you. Remember, um, when you put the baking soda in, do not pour it in too quick because it will boil over and you will have a mess. And unlike me, you don't have 23 people to clean up after you. So you might want to be careful right there. So we are preheating our oven up to um, 425 degrees right now. We're going to be baking these um, six minutes on the bottom and six minutes on the top. And you're going to have some pretzel rolls here on Cook like a bastard. By request! Pretty easy you put it in the oven and you're going to have some pretzel buns here and cook like a bastard. So we've left the buns cook for about six seven minutes on the lower shelf and on the upper shelf. Let's just see what these guys look like. Holy smokes! Take a look at these. Again, another fantastic collection of food here on Cook Like a Bastard by request. Cook Like a Bastard today.